Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to continue with this idea of building your song using matrices. So um, we've created the kick drum. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to create the snare drum. So let's go into the create. Uh, let's go to a subtractor. And in the subtractor I'm going to use an analog waveform. I'm going to bring this down to 1, this up to 3, and I am going to create a matrix so that it's connected to this subtractor and um, in here I'm going to add just a few little changes Okay, so now let's get started. We're going to build our snare drum. Um, so the filter I'm going to use is going to be a notch filter. Oops, let's keep that on. I am going to turn this. down a little bit. Um, actually a band pass might work a little better. Okay, so there's our snare drum, and once we've got that settled, what we can do is listen to both of them together. this the snare sequencer and we're going to call this one snare we're going to take this and this and we're going to combine them I'm going to delete the labels out because I don't like the labels okay and call this your snare set. Now also, I'm going to maybe change around the what's playing here. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. So let's close that up. And now we're going to go on to create the hi-hat. So let's create a subtractor. Uh, let's use, let me see. Let's use a 
higher pitch. Let's use bandpass. Let's create another matrix. And on this matrix, I'm going to keep everything as it is, except I'm going to just modulate these a little bit. going to bring this up a bit. Actually, we'll bring it down just a little bit. Turn the noise on. It's going to be a high pass. And just a little release. There is our hi-hat. So once again, let's listen to all of it together, and then you can make little tweaks along the way. For example, our hi-hat's a little too high. separate the drums a little bit. Pin our snare. Pin our snare a little bit. And the hi-hat to the other end a bit. Probably a bit more. Because the higher the frequency, the more you can pan it. The more the ear accepts that it's panned. And there you go. So that takes care of the drums. Um, so once again, we're going to create a track. It's already created. Okay. We're going to actually take these. We're going to combine them. Inside this, I'm going to call this the hi hat. Inside this one, I'm going to call this the hi hat sequencer. And over here, I'm going to call this the hi hat. It's good to label your things as you go because that way you don't get too confused. And the reason why I'm putting them all in combinators, you don't have to, but it just makes it easier when you're trying to organize things in your track. So now you know what you've got here. Over here you only have the kick sequencer tracks, so we want to have tracks for all of our matrices because at the end we'll um, definitely be playing with those. So let's create that. Let's go in here. Let's create a track for the hi-hat. So now you've got your kick drum, your kick drum sequencer, your snare, your snare sequencer, your hi-hat, and your hi-hat sequencer on here. So when it comes time to start arranging things, it's going to be a lot easier um, to do, and I'll get to that in, in another tutorial. But for now, this is what we've got so far. So come back and visit me for another tutorial where I try to take this idea and continue it into a complete song. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Rob, and you can come visit me at reason101.net.